Hearing about that first season and how much impact it had, people were talking, they were glued to their screens. Talk us through the impact. I mean, how, how, well, what, what did it do? We did research, we did two types of research. One was a national survey. Um, one of the things we found is that most viewers who were exposed to intersections actually spoke to their partners about testing or spoke to their friends about testing and would go and test for HIV themselves. A lot of people spoke about how it reminded them of um, using condoms again and, and um, taking back up condom usage. And then a lot of viewers um, also spoke about, you know, just in the sense of understanding how multiple partners puts one at risk of HIV infection. Yeah. But I think the nicest story for me actually came out from another research piece, which was done um, by Cadre, where they went out and they spoke to people. And it was a story of a mother and a daughter. And the mother spoke about how her daughter was very ill and they had her on traditional medicine. And after watching the one episode, they took her to the clinic. She was tested. She was found to have H HIV. She was put on ARVs and Amazing. her health was recovering. So it's really encouraging when we hear stories like that of people, how these programs make a difference in the lives of people. And that's what we essentially are yeah. trying to do is really just make that difference. Did you ever expect this response when you were making it? If someone told me we would have 43,000 people on Twitter speaking daily, wow. um, I would, um, I'm sorry, on Facebook, um, I would not have believed it. I mean, um, it's incredible to see on Facebook how much interaction is going on, even with the se series off air. Um, a lot of people are talking about relationships, the difficulty of relationships, um, about HIV, about sex. Um, and th these are the sort of dialogues we need to open up in society to, to really tackle the epidemic. Yeah. Uh, this obviously now is the second season. We saw the first season back in 2010, then a repeat you were telling me mm. in 2011. Um, so it's taken a while for the next season to come up. What, what can we expect out of it? I mean, the intro, we said, uh, it's, it's, it's going to even be sort of more shocking than the first one. Well, we went and did 39 community dialogues, spoke to about 2,000 South Africans about issues in their communities and what they wanted to, what they thought we should deal with. And the issues that came out is multiple partners remains an issue and remains a concern, um, but also um, issues around corrective rape um, and, and the, the rape of lesbians within society. Um, mm. You know, a lot of talk about that. Um, a lot of talk about... Um, issues of gender-based violence, um, issues of children living with HIV, which is obviously a very difficult topic, um, and, and issues also, I think, to some extent, um, just around how to manage these relationships and how do you manage a relationship. So we've tried to weave in some of those stories, but what, what's different about the, the new series is we're actually looking at the sexual network in the current. Where yeah. in the past series we were looking at how your past lovers could influence your uh, your HIV status. What we're looking at is the current situation, how what you do currently, how what we do not talk about in our relationships, how what healthcare workers do not talk to patients about, or how parents do not talk to children about things, how all of that impacts on our lives and actually places us at risk of HIV infection. Well, we can't wait to start watching this first episode launching uh, next week, Tuesday, on, on SABC One at yeah. 8.30. Yeah. All right, good luck with it. Uh, thank thank you, you for the great work. So the series is wrapped up. It's now just ready to influence South Africa. Yep, it's there. Um, we have about five new faces coming on air that we got through um, open auditions. We had 5,000 South Africans basically auditioning to be part, part of the cast. So we've got a couple of new faces coming through, so, um, some exciting first-time directors coming in. Excellent. So it's going to, I think it's going to be a really good series. Good. Richard, we look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, Richard DeLate is the Managing Director uh, for Intersections. It's uh, coming back on your screens the 12th uh, of February. That's next week, Tuesday, on SABC One at 8.30. It's